Welcome to a little tea time. Y'all ready? Welcome to a little tea time. Oh, yeah. Welcome to a little tea time. Who listening? Welcome to a little tea time. All right. Welcome to a little tea Welcome to a little tea time. 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 All right, y'all, so good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to A Little Tea Time. I am your host, Jarek, a.k.a. Jarius D., your favorite published author's favorite published author. And um, if you are tuning into tonight's show, please like, comment, and share tonight's show for other viewers to get to also watch tonight's show. So, Keeping in mind that we are celebrating the one-year anniversary of A Little Tea Time, um, I am very excited about tonight's guest, Miss Adia Brown. Um, but in the meantime, let's get into some tea, shall we? So, today's word of the day is yeg. It's egg, but with a Y. So, yeg. And yeg is a noun, and it's from the early 20th century. And its meaning is a burglar or a safe cracker. So think about a thief or a bank robber, someone of that nature, and just give it the old school 20th century term, yeg. So y'all keep that in mind for the word of the day, try to incorporate yeg into your English language speaking vocabulary. And don't forget, the Jaegers are among us. So, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> Just a little joke I thought I would work in with that. Um, song of the week that we are still celebrating is the Grammy Award winning Silk Sonic with Leave the Door Open. Um, I am such a fan of Silk Sonic and to celebrate their song on the show this week has been an honor and a pleasure. So shout out to Silk Sonic with Leave the Door Open as Song of the Week. Um, definitely would love for you guys to get over to Saucy Sonia Spices dot com and use my coupon code a little t time one word and receive five percent off of your purchases when you shop at saucy sonia spices as well as they are running a special as also where if you use their coupon code spring you will receive 10 percent off of your purchases so you guys get over to saucy sonia spices.com um, have to definitely, definitely congratulate the Honorable Katanji Brown Jackson, who has been confirmed as the Supreme Court judge, becoming the first African-American woman of color to be part of the Supreme Court. So um, congratulations to you, Ms. Katanji Brown, I watched your speech today, and it was just such an honor and a pleasure to hear you acknowledge the ancestors, to acknowledge your family, to acknowledge the Miss Maya Angelou in your speech. And um, yes, she's definitely making history, becoming the first woman of color to serve in the Supreme Court. And what she's doing is making a difference to not just her, not to her family, but all the little black boys and girls around the world can see that they can do what she's doing. They can be a judge on the Supreme Court or that they can do anything they want to do when they work hard and put their mind to it. So congratulations to the honorable Katanji Brown Jackson. 
got to continue to shout out Millennium Studios here in Shreveport, Louisiana, opening back up. Um, I'm very excited about the studio opening because I would love to have the opportunity to take a little tea time in that studio. Um, got to continue to shout out Miss Linda Moss and her piece, Home for Good, was selected to be part of the Arts International Invitation Road Trips. So congratulations to you. Um, shout outs to Miss Charmelle Lester for the Fabric of Peace art exhibit going on right now. Um, we have now less than 30 days to get out to the Southern University Museum of Art in Shreveport, Louisiana, um, 610 Texas Street for this event. Um, it is free and open to the public. And um, if y'all have not yet seen the pictures that I posted from the event, you guys, y'all missed out on a treat. It was something, um, to be in the room with Miss Lester, all of the other artists, to see her pieces that she has presented for the exhibit and to experience the exhibit itself was definitely something for me to take in. So definitely would love to encourage you guys to get out to 610 Texas Street at the Southern University Museum of Arts Shreveport and check out the Fabric of Peace art exhibit going on now. Um, congratulations to Mr. Bobby Huntley. Um, so I've been talking about Mr. Bobby Huntley on my show and this film that he has been working on, um, Pam and Tommy, a Detroit love story. So upon doing more research today, y'all, uh, this film has been out since March the 15th, um, on IMDb and the cast is Chantel. Rainey, no, Chantel Renee as Pam, Frank Beckwith as Tommy, Kevin Randall as Martin, Cherie Antoinette as Gina, and Zar Diggs as Cole. Um, I am just still in awe about what is going on with this piece. Um, to know that this piece, this film has been out for now probably about a month has been something for me to just going in doing the research and just discovering that for today. So um, congratulations to you, Mr. Huntley, with this film. Um, and I'm sure that this film is going to be a success. So if y'all have not yet seen Pam and Tommy, a Detroit love story, you guys get over to I Am DB and check it out ASAP. Um, Lucky For You's coming soon. The video for Lucky For You's coming soon for Miss Adriana and Adriana's Army. Um, I am very excited. So you guys definitely would love to get into um, Lucky For You. I've already posted just the clip that she sent me from her camp to promote the actual video. So it's coming soon, you guys. Y'all stay tuned for Lucky For You and continue to check out the music available everywhere where music is sold. Um, also, shout out to Mr. J. Science and his album, Molotov, out now. Also, shout out to Mr. A.J. Causey with his album, Kansas, available everywhere where music is sold. Definitely would love for you guys to check out Shayna D. Music and her single, Pack It Up, also available everywhere where music is sold. And shout out to Mimsy MC with her album, The Marsh, also available everywhere where music is sold. So shout out to you guys and congratulations. So also got to also send a shout out to Marcus Wayne, a.k.a. Brown Wolf, with his single, Breakout, which was the song of the week last week. Um, I am definitely going to also include him into the shout out list for the music and the musicians that I have called out these artists. So if y'all have not yet heard Breakout, you definitely are missing out on a treat. Got to send a shout out to Ryan's Kitchen and their reopening at the Xfinity Grill located at 4723 Mark House Drive. So they have a new location. So congratulations and shout out to you guys. Um, Got to send a shout out to Mr. James Joffrin with his acting workshop that started last week. Um, I am a student in his workshop and still 
looking forward to next week's class and um look, looking forward to seeing my castmates my classmates and castmates again next week so continue to shout you out um also stay tuned to the righteous city blues documentary with Sheree gray of lumpy grits artistry um i'm looking forward to interviewing more of the cast members here on a little tea time so shout out to you guys um shout out to country wayne comedian country wayne coming to shreveport may the 13th at the strand theater at 7 30. so if y'all have not yet got your tickets get those tickets and get ready for comedian country wayne coming to shreveport at the strand theater got to send a shout out to young jay-z and k michelle also coming to shreveport at the municipal auditorium friday may the 27th the tickets are on sale now so you guys definitely want to get those tickets and get ready for the show um gotta send a shout out to miss olivia rodrigo and her documentary driving home coming soon to disney plus and y'all can check out her tour sour coming to a city near you so get those tickets gotta continue to shout out lizzo on the show with her new show watch out for the big girls Watch out for the big girls. Watch out for the big girls. Big girls. Big, big girls. Congratulations to you, Lizzo, with your show airing on Amazon Prime, you guys. So if y'all have not seen the show yet, I read some of the reviews today on the internet, and people are loving the show. So congratulations to you, Lizzo, with what you're doing with Watch Out for the Big Girls, her dance competition show uh gotta continue to shout out comedian gabrielle iglesias become the first comedian to sell out dodger stadium so congratulations to you um shout out to rain dove and her organization safe working with the people of ukraine during their time of war and displacement um thank you um rain dove for what you're doing with safe and being a beacon of light and hope for the people of Ukraine. Also, I had to continue to send a shout out to Miss Coco Jones, who played Miss Hillary Banks in the season premiere of the drama series Bel Air, which just wrapped up a couple of weeks ago. And congratulations to her signing recording contract with Dev Jam Records and her new track, Caliber. It's out now, so y'all get out there and check it out. Um, shout out to Academy Award winner Miss Viola Davis, set to play Michelle Obama in The First Lady, an original film coming soon, starring Miss Michelle Pfeiffer as Betty Ford, um, Emmy winner Jillian Anderson as Eleanor Roosevelt, Dakota Fanning as Susan Ford, and a host of acting royalty set to premiere on Sunday, the 17th, April the 17th, on Showtime. So y'all get those Showtime accounts paid up so y'all can tune in. Um, shout outs to businesswoman Callie Combs creating the Go Black Business, Louisiana's first black digital, the first digital black business directory um i hope i am a part of this directory with the jarius dion lc so shout out to you miss callie combs and if i'm not a part of that directory please feel free to hit me up you can inbox me whatever you got to do we're gonna get me added to that directory All right shout out to you sister um shout out to morris chestnut on receiving his star on the hollywood walk of fame so congratulations to you Shout out to Simone Ashley in Bridgerton, which is now back for its second season. So I hope y'all are enjoying second season of Bridgerton. Um, shout out to Camilla McConaughey releasing her children's book, Just Try One Bite, available everywhere. So y'all get into that book. Um, the movie, The Bad Guys, is coming April the 21st. So in Featuring Sam Rockwell, Richard Iode, Aquafina, Anthony Ramos, Zazie Beats, and Craig Robertson. And this film is going to definitely be a family film. Um, definitely is going to be one for 
the books for you guys to get out and check out. So y'all stay tuned for the Bad Guys film. Also, um, congratulations to Miss Jennifer Hudson with the MasterCard commercial and doing a little research today. The Jennifer Hudson show is coming this fall to Fox. So y'all stay tuned for that debut. And also stay tuned for the offer miniseries set to premiere April the 28th on Paramount Plus starring Miles Teller, Justin Chambers, Juno Temple, Dan Fogler, Matthew Good, and Giovanni Ribebsi. So congratulations to you guys. Um, This film is going to be a series that is going to be talking about the development and the production of Francis Ford Coppola's film, the legendary 50-year film Godfather. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, Ambulance has been out for a couple of weeks now. So it's starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Isa Gonzalez, and Yahya Abdul Mateen II. And the film follows two adopted brothers who turn into bank robbers and they take a ambulance, um, hi, um, just basically hijack an ambulance and take two first responders hostage. So it's going to be a great film. I'm sure that that film has been doing a phenomenal job in theaters. If y'all have not yet seen Ambulance, definitely want to get out in theaters and support it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is out today. So shout out to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 featuring music from Kid Cutting with Idris Elba, um, Jim Carrey, Colleen O'Shignese, um, Shamar Moore. James Marston, and Tika Sumter. And you guys go out there and support Sonic Hedgehog 2, which is premiering tonight. So y'all get out into the theaters and have some fun and check that out. Um, Tom Cruise is coming back May the 27th with Top Gun Maverick featuring acting royalty Val Kilmer, Jennifer Cunley, Miles Teller, Monica Barbero, and acting royalty Ed Harris. So y'all stay tuned for May the 27th for the premiere of the movie. Get your tickets now and be ready. A Marvel movie presents Miss Marvel, a superhero miniseries on Disney Plus, starring Iman Bellini, Fouad Khan, Amaris Knight, and Matt Lenz. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, we Crash is on to be starring on Apple TV, and it tells a remarkable story of Israel-born Adam Newman and his wife, Rebecca, who are running a communal workplace called We Work, starring Jared Leto and acting royalty and another Catwoman actress, Miss Anne Hathaway. Um, come dance with me. It's also coming soon to CBS, and it's going to be a family dance competition series premiering April the 15th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 p.m. Pacific Time, starring Trisha Miranda, Gina Dewan, Philip Lawrence, and Dexter Mayfield. Um, Got to continue to shout out to Mr. Usher Raymond with the Remy martin commercial new segment tonight new segment tonight tonight i am presenting y'all with the events shout out segment um to, today at 6 p.m until 7 p.m is the pros and cons an open call show for artists it is happening right now at the bolger arts council over in barger city so if you are out there y'all have fun tonight continue to celebrate and be safe also happening, the Bearded Beauty is going down at the Corner Lounge from 9 p.m. until 2 p.m., 2 a.m. So y'all head over to Corner Lounge tonight and have some fun with that. Um, tonight at Strange Brew will be the 90s versus the 2000s party with DJ Delusions and that girl DJ. And breaking news, I have booked an interview with D 
DJ Delusions tonight. And hopefully I will also get to interview that girl DJ. So I will be in the building tonight doing my little tea time thing with DJ Delusions out at Strange Brew. So y'all come out and have fun at the 90s versus 2000s party at Strange Brew. Y'all get out there. I'll see y'all out there. See you soon. Um, tomorrow's event is the East Bank Easter Market at the East Bank District and Plaza from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So y'all get over to the East Bank for the event tomorrow and have some fun with them. Um, also happening soon, the Health and Beauty, the Health, Beauty, and Queer Source Fair happening April the 30th at 201 market street um i've signed up to be a vendor with them so i am looking forward to the event coming really soon and now that i have spilled my tea um i hope that my guest is okay to come in tonight with me um i just chatted with her a little while ago about doing tonight's show so i hope that she's feeling up to it And if we can get her in, I hope that she's ready. And thank you for everyone tuning in to tonight's show. Thank you to Miss Natalie Williams and to Miss Lisa Nikki Jamerson. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. Please, if you can, ladies, share tonight's show for other guests to get to witness as y'all are tonight. So thank y'all so much. Mm. While we're waiting for Miss Adele Brown to come in, got to send a shout out to Big Low T. I'm switching things up a little bit. Still got my perfect peach. Still got my perfect peach. But I also went and got me some perfectly mint tea that I'm also now sipping and making blends with. So it's going to be a great thing with um, Big Low T. And um, got a message from them today about me drinking their tea so shout out to everyone over at bigelow thank y'all so much for supporting what i'm doing here with a little tea time and um it's been definitely a pleasure just to drink your tea very delicious very nutritious i enjoy it and i hope that other people who sip on bigelow tea enjoy it just as well as i do I think my guest is ready. Mm -mm -mm. While we're waiting on her to come in, um, stay tuned for tomorrow's show with Miss Monica Brown. And I will also be doing an interview with Straight Up Podcast following my interview with Miss Monica Brown as well at 8.30. So stay tuned for that, you guys. I will be going live on my Facebook while I'm doing the interview with Straight Up Podcast as well. Um, Got to get the, the birthdays in. Yes, I did. I did see it. I'm actually waiting on it to let you guys come on in. So I'm actually it's adding right now. Um, happy birthday to Miss April Miles. Happy birthday to you. Let's see. Try and get my guest in. Okay, I got one waiting on the other. Good evening. Good evening. All right. 
There oh, we go. Hello. Good evening. How are y'all this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Brown? How are y'all tonight? Doing great. Doing great. How are you? Doing well. It is such a pleasure and an honor to have y'all on tonight. Um, I officially met Mrs. Brown, I want to say a few years back while I was wow. out promoting About my book. Four years. Yes, four years ago. And um, they were at the 318 Makers Fair, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. And I was out networking that day. And I ran into Miss Brown and Mr. Brown again. And it was such a pleasure because she actually remembered me. Yep, I and I was very excited about that because I have been meeting so many people. And for someone to recognize me, one of my royalty readers who recognized me, it was so good to definitely be in your presence again. I want to thank you again for my set, my, my necklace that you gave me. You are so welcome. Um, I, I have not taken this thing off yet. I've literally wear this thing everywhere. So thank good. you so much. Good. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Representing our and, culture. Yes, definitely, definitely. So I'm gonna get into your interview. Um, I know that you were, um, you had surgery this week, so I don't want to hold you entirely too long because I know you want to get you some rest. Okay. Um, but I know that you are a hairstylist and a business owner. I am. So tell the viewers just a little bit more about yourself. Well, hair and jewelry basically has been my life. Um, I started doing hair when I was 17, professionally 18. So I've been in the game about 38 years. Uh, then I went back to school to be a barber. So that's, just, that's my passion. And when I met my husband, he was already into the jewelry, but he was into mostly, you know, of course, men's pieces, the hematite and the lava rock, stuff like that. Um, and then we just joined forces and Brown Angel Kisses was born. <laughs> yes, I love that. I love to see what y'all are doing because when I, when I ran into you guys, y'all were both out there together and y'all were having a great time. Y'all were just in your element. And to have a couple on my show tonight, this is an honor for me. Um, definitely want to just drop this jewel on y'all. Y'all are my first couple for season three okay. of a looking time. So this is such an honor to have it's a an honor married for couple. Being here with you. Very much so. so what I love about having y'all here tonight is y'all representing our culture yes. to show when we can come together and doing something positive right. and being a collective unit that there, there is strength and power in numbers. That's true. That's so true. not only that, but to see a couple, a strong couple holding it down the way that y'all are it just does my heart good, and I want my viewers around the world to also see that anything is possible when you stick it out. Marriage is not easy, but when you do that work and yeah. you fight, it, it's, right. it's, yeah. it's a beauty on the other side. Yeah. Yes, it is. Thank you for seeing that. Yes. Yes. Um, so when y'all are not working, what do y'all do for fun? <laughs> well, I like to dance. I usually go to um, a line dance class each week. Um, we both love music. I mean, we have so much in common. I think other people have a problem with us being together so much. But we all, <laughs> no, I'm serious. All, yeah. I'm serious. We have people that are saying, do you ever go anywhere by yourself? Or I don't have a problem with it. I thought that's what marriage was all about. <laughs> yeah, and we love each other's company, so we always yeah. try to do everything together. And that's a blessing. That's a yeah. blessing yeah. to have your your partner, your 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 husband or your wife. That's a blessing to have those moments to celebrate each other. Right. Together. 
Yeah, we were really surprised at how much we had in common because not only do we both like music and we both have played instruments, he still does, um, but we both like classic cars. It was just weird, you know, and anybody that knows me know I'm a diehard classic car lover. And I'm mm. always out in the shop working on one. You know what? That's not weird at all. I don't think it's weird. I think God knew he needed you and that you needed her. Yeah. yeah. And the things that y'all had in common were the things that brought y'all together. Yes, it was. Exactly right. It's, it's weird how the universe works. Um, God knows what we need before we need it. Yes, he does. And we, so, say, we say it all the time that we had nothing to do with us getting together. We had nothing to do with it. It just, it happened so fast. And we were looking, because we both said, okay, we're just going to be friends. We, you know, we both had been through a couple of marriages. And so we, we weren't trying to do that. And so we said, we were going to just be friends. And it just blossomed really, really quick, really yes, quick. Matter of fact, I had cancer when I met Steve. And mm. he stayed around. He helped through my last days of chemo. And I just thought, what's wrong with this man? He, I, I'm sick. You know, I, what, what is it for? What is it in it for him? But like I said, it was out of our control. There was nothing in it for me. That was the only thing that I wanted was to be there to help. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. He's your helpmate. I yeah. tell you, I, um, I'm not a counselor, but I have a degree in psychology. So I talk to people all the time, and especially about their marriages. I'm no, I'm nowhere near married. I'm 34 years old, inspiring to get married. But I, um, I talk to people about marriages all the time. And um, I've often said that um, when you find that person that you're with, it's ultimately that you're helpmate. Yes. And um, you never know in what way they're there to help you. That you just have to be open to the help. And over time, yes. in whatever place that you're weak, your partner is strong. And so it complements exactly each other and it balances each other. You are so right. Yeah. So to hear the story right now, I'm inspired. I'm so <laughs> inspired. And um. Brother, God, God has blessed you ten times over. He oh, has you blessed have you. No idea. You have no so, idea. What has inspired you guys to develop your business? The love of making something that we appreciate, something that if we didn't like it ourselves, we wouldn't put it out. Mm -hmm. um, we just love the opportunity to, to put something out that's actually worth something, not five dollars here that's going to break in two days. Yeah, we can allow yeah, people back here. Yeah. I'm going to move around just a little bit. Let you know that connection is real strong tonight. Yeah, yes, I think it that's what it was. It's too close. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah. Yes. I've got my Sunday volume down. There you go. Okay. Is that better? Is that better for you? Fantastic. 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 Okay. Yo, can you zoom in on your pieces there, Mr. Brown, sir? These are just a small sample of the queen of waste beads. These are her handmade waste beads. Yes. And I absolutely love that. In any size, any color, any style, with whatever charms and special things that you want. Yeah, those are the custom waist beads. And then I have some that um, I order the beads 
the colors that I want. I order from Africa. And those are the Kenya waist beads. I, I love to point that out because, you know, I like to make it as traditional and authentic as possible because it's, it's a cultural thing and it's something that was done way, way back before I was even considered myself as far as being a being. But I love it because, you know, this is what our African ancestors wore for underwear. This is what they wore when they were passing over into uh, puberty. It just marked a lot of milestones for them. So they even put them on the baby's ankle. And that's how they were able to tell how old the children were. I mean, it's just different things that people don't know about waist beads and the bead culture. And it's more to it than just fashion. It's more to it than, you know, just being sexy. It's yes. a tradition and it's like I said, it's something that they did to mark time. Yes, I, I definitely fell in love with it because I wear my my pieces all the time. Yeah. This this not this is not for fashion. This is culture. Is. And I love the fact that I can walk out my door and just celebrate who I am every day just as an African American. Yes. Exactly. And to see what y'all are doing for the culture. I see that Michael Jackson down down that floor. And to see what y'all are doing for the culture. It is just very inspiring. It's very inspiring. And so for me to have y'all on the show, it was absolutely necessary. It was absolutely important to have we're y'all. So proud. We're proud to, to be able to tell people why we do what we do and what it's about. Because, you know, sometimes people, um, I don't want to say it negatively, but a lot of our support actually comes from other ethnicities. Um, unfortunately, you know, the people that you think will support you, sometimes that's not the case. But if you listen to the Holy Spirit, if you listen to God, and he tells you to stay on the course, then there's nothing but success because you're being obedient. And that's what we've done because we were really hoping that we would connect with our own community. Not saying that our community does not support us, but when we go other places, it's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's just phenomenal. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing because we, we do so much together. We went to um, uh, massage classes together. We got our certificates for that. We got certified for that. Um, my husband takes pictures, photography. Um, we had so much going on when I was at the shop on Linwood where I met you. Yes. We had to sit down together and just say, hey, we got to focus. God has told us to focus on one specific thing. And that's what we did. That was that's such a blessing. Name. Such a blessing. So yeah. how did you decide when to establish your brand and your company? Once, once I had studied up on the waist beads, like I said, he was already making the hematite jewelry for himself. Not to sell, just for himself, like eagles and uh, tiger's tooth and stuff like that. Um, what happened was when I started branching out with the waist beads, it just got bigger and bigger. And so people were like, y'all going to need a store soon. I'm like, no, we're doing fine just the way we're doing. So then we had to come up with a name because now people are finding out about us and I'm sending jewelry to California, Utah, just everywhere. And so uh, I had a cruise line get in touch with me and ask me to um, supply their um, beach, beach um, waste beads. And I told them, I thought about it, but I couldn't do that because I wouldn't have been able to keep up with the numbers um, because I do it by hand. So. I just said I was going to trust God and continue to do what I'm doing by hand because I have that personal touch that I can make sure that it's right. Whereas when you get other people in, not saying they won't care, but they won't put the care in that you put in. Yes. So, um, so we had to come up with a name and then we had to figure out how to get it out there other than the people that we knew. So, and Got that, it. That's what happened. 
Okay, so how have your priorities changed since you started your business? Hmm. Well, what I do now is I was so excited about making the jewelry. And when people would call and order, oh, man, as soon as they call, as soon as I get off the phone, I was making it. I was making it. And then I would have people say, oh, I didn't know you were going to make it that fast. Um, I, I'll, I'll get with you next week. You know, and a next week never came. So I had to start prioritizing with when they call to make the order, they pay in advance. As soon as you pay, I'm going to make it because I'm not going to give you a wait time. I don't want people to wait on their merchandise. Order it, pay for it, and see what happens. Yes. Now, if Ms. you can Brown, see you this, went this is our personal jewelry. Yes. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and you have it. You will have it, like the next day or two. I love. Unlike if I you love. had to order it from Etsy or somewhere like that, you might get what you ordered, and you might not. I love the detail right now that Mr. Brown is doing right now, going through and just showing all of the pieces. All of what I have to offer is really great right now for the content where people can have an idea of what it is that y'all offer to the public. So he's doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Um, so the next question is, what challenges did you guys overcome on your journey with your business? That is a daily challenge. Uh, like my wife just said, it's difficult for us to get people not only to come and purchase or come and see but they will look at it and not support but also not share the the post or like on it or say someone else might be looking for this and let me send them a message to look it out look out for it and it's that's not only hard, but it's hurtful as a black community that we won't support each other, even yes. in this day and age. We would rather go out and buy uh, some millionaire's product, and I'm not going to say any names because we actually have some of their uh, charms. charms here, but. Um, People would rather go out and spend 10 times more just to say that they got it from a particular store or name brand or a name brand than to come and spend 10 to $15 on something that's handmade with just as much quality and care. And that is a challenge. That is a challenge every day because I'll have people call and then they'll say, hey, I saw that bracelet that you posted, uh, the blue one, you're saying. And then I'll say, okay, well, that one's 20 or it's 25. Oh, and I'm just thinking to myself because I see some of the same pieces that we make very, very similar on Pinterest. And they're like $300, $400. But it's difficult for us in this region to sell something for 20 or 25 and i i totally get what y'all are saying like because we're uh, our culture we're very materialistic and we're about a brand name it's something yeah. about a brand name that just makes your blood just boil hotter right right and, people don't even know you <laughs> right so you know but then um i i used to get discouraged like i said but then after I was obedient and I listened to the Holy Spirit and it said, you know, hey, look, focus on one thing. What are you going to do? And I was just like, OK, we both truly enjoy making the jewelry. We both truly have a passion for this. So let's just do the jewelry. You know, if we get some photography gigs, we do it. Um, if he gets to work on some vehicles or whatever, he does that as well. Um, the fact that I did hair so long which is why I'm having surgery um, because I had messed my neck and my back up. So I had to find something else 
that would help to bring income to his, for me to assist him and be his helpmate. And so that's where the jewelry came in at. But it just, the fact that we were having such a hard time getting it out there, um, and I will put a name out there, Ferrari Fox. She, I've never met this lady. Never, ever, ever. But you would think that we are the best friends because she did. She grabbed my my ads, my posts, and when I tell you people just started calling just because she posted it, and I'm forever grateful to her. I'm forever grateful to her. But being obedient, it has paid off because, like I said, we can go to Memphis. They know us. They know us. I mean, it's weird. Um, we've been to Missouri. We've been, of course, Texas. Um, Texas, Arkansas, Arkansas, Oklahoma. And the response is so different. You know, it's so, I mean, they hunt us down. I've been sitting like, there waiting for y'all to show up all yeah, day long. They're like, I heard you guys were in town. And, you know, it's just totally different. It's not weird at all. It's your gift that's making room. Yes. And so even if it's not at home, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know? You have to go where God's sent you. That's exactly you have right. right. And it was by chance that I was actually out at the event when I saw you guys that, that Saturday. Um, I had literally had six shows that week from that Sunday up until Friday. So I was like, I'm going to take the weekend off. I'm going to rest. And then I saw the 318 Makers Fair event on the news first. And then the next day, scrolling through Facebook, which was supposed to be my day off, I saw the event on Facebook. And so I said, no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Something is pushing me to go. So I came out. And it was such a, a, a wonderful event in itself. It was. Yes, it, really it was. was. It was a wonderful event. I got to network and meet a lot of people who are going to be doing the show really soon. Um, it was just an event that if I would have missed it, I would have missed the doors that opened for me being right. there. So it was such a pleasure to be there again to run into one of my royalty readers yes. because I, I hardly run into my royalty readers so to run into one of my readers and one of my supporters it was a blessing for me and i was just in awe i was in awe to see all of us in this room together business owners people doing something positive for the community for themselves it's it's a it has it's a hard job to do, but we it's a necessary job to do. Yes. So definitely would love to encourage you guys to keep going. Don't stop going. Keep okay. going. Um, few more questions, you guys. What strategies did you use first to market your business? Um, basically, I had to look in magazines i talk to my daughters because they have an age uh 10 year age difference um talk to other young ladies young men to see what is it that is popular right now to them mm -hmm. whereas some of the items that we have they're just strictly traditional you know that's just what we're gonna have but then I wanted to know, okay, let me find out what, what they're wearing. And so I went on different sites and just kind of studied to see uh, what the fashion trend was and what it was going to be for the next season. And that's how we buy our colors. Um, we don't just go out and buy a bunch of beads. I have to find out first, you know, it might be lime green. It might be olive green. It might be salmon this year. So I go and I find out what the major trends are. And then I start to make our jewelry from those colors. You know, just adding, take away, you know, whatever looks good with what. So that was the strategy in making the jewelry and creating the pieces because each piece is totally different. We never make the same piece unless someone orders two of something. They'll say, well, I want something for me and my sister. Or I want something for me and my wife. Then, mm -hmm. but 
Other than that, we don't make the same piece twice. Love that. Love that. Um, the next question is, how do you guys define success? How do we define what? Success. Success. You want to ask that? To wake up every day and know that we're blessed. Yeah, that we're, we're living pretty much uh this is kind of in our into our retirement and but and we're rejo we're enjoying it yes. success to me is to be able to have joy when you don't have no money you know when you are broke but you're still doing what you love that's success to me and then you're doing it with someone who has the same goals and values um that that makes a big difference because if we were going in two separate directions it would be kind of difficult but the fact that we do it together and support each other um that's everything to me same here i mean it would be totally different if you were had to sit there and work with someone that you just really couldn't stand to be around but <laughs> that's not us we love our company we'll put on some music we'll act silly i mean people see us and they think oh they this, that, and the other, and they got their nose up in there. No, we're just as normal as anybody else. We got our own yeah. struggles, bad finances, aches, pains, and you name it, we've got it just like everybody else. I don't know about the normal part, though. Well, well yeah, we're not normal. We're not normal. <laughs> no, we're not normal. But, no. I mean, we, we are just regular people. And to be able to say, thank you, God, for waking us up again to struggle and strive another day, and thank you for putting this beautiful woman next to my side and give me something to smile about and be happy for and to strive for to make happy. That's all I need. I love that. I love this black love right now. <laughs> I absolutely am enjoying this. Y'all don't know what this is doing for like people who are going to watch this show. They're going to see a couple who have stood the test of time. Yeah. Running a business together. Yes. Knowing that sure. it's not always easy, but y'all hanging in there together. That's it. And and we, hang... we definitely encourage each other because when I had to, when I first had to um, stop working, the doctor said, you, you can't do this anymore. You, your hands are, are done. And I cried in the doctor's office because I thought I was used to making anywhere from 1100 to 1400 a week. Going from that to maybe 200 a week, something like that. And it was just devastating. But God showed me that there were so many things that I did not need. So there was a blessing in that. You know, I was able to rest my arms and, and my back. And then I started back working again. And the same thing happened again. I got sick. So I just had to accept it and find something else and i ask god give me something that i can do to help assist my husband with bills and stuff because then it was all on him so and this is what he gave me and what you did which is a lesson that we that even i had to learn obedience obedience is such a lesson because we we always say, well, I want to do what I want to do. I want to do this my way. And God will get your attention in any way he can. Yeah. I just had, literally had this conversation with my sister yesterday. God will literally, whatever you're doing, okay, you need a break. Yeah. Take a break. And God is now honoring you because he's seen that you've done this for so many years. The love and the attention and the time and the, the the detail that you do with what you do god said okay you've done that it's time for you to go into the next phase of your life right that's right and so now y'all are in the the next phase of your life and i'm just honored to have y'all here tonight man i i'm really just like oh my god well, thank you so much yeah we yes are. and i got a little I got a little tip. Y'all should start y'all own podcast. Y'all should start like a couple's podcast. Well, you have to show us what to do. Y'all y'all got y'all got something here that y'all can definitely work with. <laughs> well, we have to look into that. So 
definitely want to get that podcast off the ground. I think y'all would do a phenomenal job with um just being able to give that advice okay. to younger couples, to right. newlyweds, to um married couples that've been te- fighting the test of time and been going the test of time, but just kind of need got a hiccup and they just need a little advice to kind of get them over the hump. I think y'all will be perfect for that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, definitely, if y'all want to learn more about this, just give me a shout. We'll we'll figure it out. Yes. <laughs> um, last question, and then we're going to play candy or corn. What's the best advice you can give to someone thinking about starting a business or pursuing their dreams? Basically, I would say if it's something you really want to do, um, be very careful in your prayers and what you ask God for. And number two, to make yourself a plan. Don't just jump right into it and think, okay, I can do this and make yourself a plan and to see if what you have to offer is needed. Um, and three, to sacrifice. You've got to sacrifice time. You've got to sacrifice income. Um, even your health sometimes. And what I mean by that is sometimes you may not feel like showing up. But you got to show up because you got to put one foot forward if you want God to, you know, continue to do the rest. So mainly just um, staying and being steadfast in what it is that you want to do and not giving up on your dreams no matter what. Just keep going. My, my advice would be, number one, be patient. Yeah. Without patience, you will never get anywhere. Yeah. Number two is be diligent because you can't jump in and say, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, yeah. and 24 hours later, that's too hard, and I can't do it, so let me find something else. You have to stay steadfast, like my wife said. If this is what you want, this is your dream, you've got to work for it because nobody's going to come knocking on your door and say, let me put you where you want to be. You have to be diligent. You have to work at it. And you have to have the patience and the drive to do what you want and able to get what you want out of it. Let and me number sh- three, uh, yeah. don't quit. No matter what. No matter what anybody tells you, how power they say it's going to be, and you can't do this and you can't do that. My wife got a t-shirt that said, they told me I couldn't, so I proved them wrong. I did it twice over. I, I got to share this with y'all because, Miss Adele, I, when I met you, I was in the space of starting my business mm-hmm. when I met you. And I was out there promoting, I want to say, one book at that particular time. And I, I was working up a part time job and, and I was going to school, still, still going to school at that particular time. And it was one of those things where I was just like, okay, put your brain out there. Just start letting people know who you are. And fast forward to 2020, um, I was not able to go back to school because I was not financially able to support it. So I started doing podcasting full time, writing more books. And now sitting in the middle of after a year of doing podcasting, Five years later, I've written, have written four books and started a business. I learned that even me being this age, when you really want something, you may have to just walk away from what's normal yeah. to get what you want. And just hearing what you just said, Mr. Brown, it, it literally, it just, it, it all ties itself together. This has not been the easiest journey because I walked away from having a regular nine to five job to starting my own business and right. to, and, and it made, I'm talking about real sacrifices yeah. and knowing every day I'm out here without a net. I'm out here without a net, but knowing that God is so awesome, knowing that yeah. God is still going to take care of all things when we stand behind it and really believe it. Um, I, I prayed, I prayed 2020 and told God, I said, God, I'm not going back to work for anyone. 
I'm gonna start my business. And from 2020, the doors began to open. They opened. And when they opened, I never looked back. I just kept moving. I, I was walking, and then I went from walking to running, and now I'm flying. Exactly. But I would not, I would not trade in any single detail of my life, any moment in my life to be in this moment right now with one of my readers and with her husband who are now sitting in the realization of what I've been doing. Y'all are part of my history right now. Y'all are part of my legacy. Thank you. And Thank you. it has been amazing to be on this journey because as a young man, a young black man, y'all already understand it's not right. easy when you're starting something. No, it's not. Everybody ain't for you and everybody ain't with you. Exactly. Yeah, and you know, um, piggybacking on what you just said, when when I met Steve, like I said, he was already making men's jewelry, but he was making it for himself. Then when I started researching and decided to do the waist beads and uh, anklets, and then I thought, okay, we'll just do bracelets next. Then we started doing sets. Then I had a couple of people who are no longer in my life, but and it's okay because God did that too. But it's like um, they were like, "You gonna do what? You gonna make jewelry?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know." And they were so discouraging. It was like, "You don't want to do that. That's gonna take time. It's gonna be consuming, time consuming, and." You still gonna be using your hands. Well, I am using my hands, but my hands are not above my head. They're down below, you know, where I'm comfortable. And I can sit and make jewelry as long as I please. But the thing I'm saying is there were people that I really hope would push me and support me. And those were the very people saying, Why are you gonna do that? And I don't think that's gonna work. And but you gotta have a made up mind that that's what you're going to do. And then I never told you how to pronounce my name. It's Weta. Weta. Yes, it starts with an O, but it's Weta. It's French. OK, I like that. <laughs> what is Weta French for? Um, I have no idea what my middle name means. I, my first name is Mary, but people call me Weta. So. OK, I love yeah. that. Yeah. That's I'm gonna have, you know what, now you're going to make me look it up and see. And then I'm gonna be yeah, back with you. Because I, I I believe in the power of a name. Say there there is definitely there's power in a name. Yes, yes, it is. yes, it is. So because I know growing up when I heard my name, I used to not like it. But then when I found out the definition of Jared, Jared means strong gifted ruler. And I took that as a badge of honor when I found out. I was like, that's what my name is? And even with my writing name, Jarius Dion, Jarius Dion is joy joyous rays of light shining beyond. Okay. Um, uh, there's just something about a name, anything that you, you label yourself. It has the power of determining how far you will go. It has the power to determine how people will interact with you. It has the power to, to determine how the world will bend to your will. Right. So, so it, it's very, very important that we are very intentional with naming. Right. And um, so we the Yes. That, <laughs> That's some powerful shit. Excuse my French. That's some powerful <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's very powerful. I, I love that. Thank you. So, Thank you. with that being said, we're going to move on to the game, Candy or Corn. I'm going to ask y'all about some candies here. And you can either say candy if you'll eat the candy or corn if you will not eat the candy. Okay. All right. So, first candy, gobstopper. Corn. 
<laughs> one said candy, one said corn. I got you. Okay, the next one is one hundred grand. Ooh, candy. One hundred. Yeah, candy. Okay, candy corn. Candy. candy. <laughs> I'm so insulted. I love it. I love it. Uh, the next candy is Rolo. Candy. Corn. You don't like Rolo? You don't like caramel? I like caramel, but not very. Okay. Okay. The next one is Heath Bar. Which bar? Heath, Heath bar. bar. Heath, Heath bar. bar. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This is exciting. Okay, Mike and Ice. Candy. Candy. Mounds. Candy. Skittles. Candy. Tricks. Candy. And gummy bears. Candy for me. I love him. I know he don't. <laughs> When I buy him, I always try to make him taste one, and he won't. Uh, absolutely love it. Thank y'all so much. It has been a honor and a pleasure to have y'all on tonight, Miss. We've enjoyed Lita. it. We truly enjoyed the, it. Yes, yes. If y'all have some events going on, this is the moment to um, plug them right now. Let people know how to follow your business and how they can reach you guys. We're on all. Well, we're on Instagram as Brown Angel Kisses. On Facebook is Brown Angel Kisses. And uh, we have we the Angel Kisses Brown, which is my personal page. But um, Instagram is Brown Angel Kisses. And Facebook, we have Brown Angel Kisses. Uh, we have a website, Brown Angel Kisses. And the email is brownagentkisses at gmail.com. Yes. And if y'all have flyers that y'all um, do to promote your business, definitely send me some flyers. I will share them to my Facebook and my Instagram as well. And I'm going to be wearing this piece for the rest of my life. Thank Aww. you. Where you need something else, let us know. Yes. Yes, definitely. Definitely. And, um, if y'all do pop-up shops, I would definitely keep y'all informed about pop-up shops if I find out about pop-up shops. Thank you. We've got, we got one coming up on the 29th, and we would have done the one this weekend, but I didn't know how I would be feeling after surgery, So, and I know we would not have been able to do it. So we do have one on the 29th of this month, and it's uh, on Barksdale. Uh, Barks no, it's not. It's um, East Texas, out by... Your mall. I will have to send you the exact address. Okay. Thank you all so much. And I definitely would love to just promote your business to promote what you're doing. Thank and um, you. anytime y'all want to come to Tea Time, y'all are definitely welcome here. Y'all are you. not friends. Y'all are family to me thank as of tonight. So, Uncle and Auntie Brown, thank y'all so much for coming through tonight. Yes. Thank you. It thank you a pleasure for me um i know that y'all love to be doing everything together so so for y'all to do tonight's interview together has been phenomenal Thank it just you. adds to the energy of the show and um y'all have a great night anytime y'all need me please call me do not hesitate to inbox me i got you thank, thank you. you thank you all right. y'all have a great night you, you do too. the same as well so y'all stay blessed Brown Angel Kisses. Brown Angel Kisses. Love you guys. Okay, so y'all, I need y'all to get over to Saucy Sonya Spices and use my coupon code, a little tea time, one word, to receive 5% off of your purchases or save 10% off when you use this code, the coupon code, SPRING. Also, y'all can get out to Agora Borelis and check out my books at Agora Borelis at 421 Lake Street, downtown Shreveport. And that's also another store y'all should look into. Also, um, Agora Borelis. Okay. Great store. Great energy. Y'all would love it. Um, they are actually promoting my books there. So y'all should definitely think about promoting your brand there. Um, check out my books. 
um, the Coming Full Circle series, as well as um, my books of poetry, The Confessions of a Conceited Drama King, and Catching Up With Me, all available at Agora Borelli's, as well at Amazon.com. Just type search Jarius, J-R-A-Y-I-S, D-R-N-D-E-Y-O-N-D. Also, check me out on TikTok at the Jarius Dion and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Jarek A King Among Men Thomas, as well as checking out a little tea time now on Spotify. So, if y'all have not wow. had the chance to listen to the shows here on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, you can check oh, them out on, okay. on Spotify. Yes, yes, it has been exciting. And remember the show's quote, opportunities knocking, you matter, let's build and grow higher, Shreveport. And as I say, after every single show, remember to be great on purpose, not on accident. The future is now. Um, Got to do a real quick plug real quick because I, I skipped my celebrity birthday since I was so excited to get my guest in. Got to send out my, my celebrity birthdays real quick. Happy birthday to Disney's, Disney star, actress, and dancer with stars, season 29, Miss Sky Jackson. Happy birthday to Toby Brown. Happy birthday to Sophie Grace. Happy birthday to Romy. Happy birthday to reality star, the Busby Quintoplet, Hazel, Riley, Ava, Parker, Olivia, and Olivia. Happy birthday to Dage Lowe. Happy birthday to Keita the Great. Happy birthday to NBA3. Happy birthday to Tim the Tap Man. Happy birthday to Jessica Bollinger. Happy birthday to Maddie Healy. Happy birthday to Anna. Emilia, happy birthday to Wujin, happy birthday to Black Youngster, happy birthday to Elena Gerard, happy birthday to Shelby Young, happy birthday to Seagulls, happy birthday to voice actor Sean Fatino, happy birthday to Lacey Shelby Shaw, happy birthday to music royalty, Mr. Biz Marquis. Rest in love. Happy birthday to Chris Kyle. Rest in love as well. Happy birthday to Joan Sebastian. Rest in love to you. Happy birthday to Easy Stratton. Happy birthday to Louis Buckhan. Happy birthday to Owen Ray Owen Rawson. Happy birthday to C D Lamb. To um Jr. Born and Andrew Hung. So it has been a great night tonight for the show. Um, until tomorrow with Miss Monica Brown. Y'all have a great night, everyone. Um, I am Jared, aka Jarius D, your favorite published author's favorite published author. Shout out to Bigelow T for the tea that's in the cup tonight. I know, and right? Shout out to my guests, Mr. Steve and Miss Weta. 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 Shout, shout out, out to my Steve. shout out to my oldest daughter. Her birthday is Sunday. Happy birthday, Marion. Yes, I love that. I love that. Happy birthday, Marion, for us here at a little tea time. And you guys remember, be well, stay well, and be great. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Little Tea Time. Y'all ready? Welcome to Little Tea Time. Ray Show. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Little Tea Time. Who listening? Welcome to Little Tea Time. All right. Welcome to Little Tea Time. Y'all don't forget, Strange Brew. I'll be out there doing a little tea time tonight. So y'all come through, hang out, have some fun with us at the 90s and 2000s 
party and strange brew. And um, mom, I love you. Good night. Till tomorrow, y'all. Be well.